Well, this class action has been on foot for over four years now and it's been a long, hard-fought battle right to the steps of the court. It's the size of this class action that makes it historic. Today's agreement represents a settlement in Australia's biggest product class action and one of the biggest settlements of a class action in our nation's history. Over 5,000 Australians were implanted with one of these hip implants and we predict that around 2,000 of those Australians will need to have the hip removed and replaced. There are hundreds of Australians who have not yet registered to take part in the class action and there is still time to come forward and register that interest. There's been a variety of devastating complications suffered by victims of this implant. Uh, everything from severe pain, restricted movement, uh, infection, uh, dislocations, uh, and there's been some severe complications like stroke and heart attack and deep vein thrombosis that have been suffered. Uh, but the, um, often, for many people, the most devastating part of their hip failing is needing to have revision surgery, uh, which can require months of recuperation and healing. The settlement in the US um, is not taken into account in the, in the Australian proceedings, um, but it, it did set a, a helpful precedent for us in these negotiations. Well, today's agreement represents closure and offers a measure of justice to those Australians who've been affected. Now, while nothing can take away the years of loss and pain that these Australians have suffered, uh, this settlement uh, brings an end to four years of hard-fought litigation. We will then start to assess the claims of the thousands of Australians who are eligible for compensation and we will distribute that compensation as efficiently as possible. We are committed to ensuring that that compensation reaches those Australians who've been affected as quickly as we possibly can.